Ladies and gentlemen, I, I was having a pretty okay day, okay? I was I was just kind of chilling. I was in the middle of recording a, a video for tomorrow, but then it happened. Apple dropped a new product that, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> it is so bad, it is so awful, and it is so repulsive. We, we live in the worst timeline. <sighs> Okay, I, I'm just gonna show you the trailer, okay? My version of the trailer. I, I gave a nice little voiceover for this product. You're, you're gonna love it. So today, I'm excited to announce an entirely new AR platform with a revolutionary new product. And here it is. And here it is indeed. You see that? That's right, that's the outline. It's forming in just like my suicidal thoughts are forming in now while watching this. What's that CNBC symbol doing there? I have no idea. Let's get a zoom in on this motherfucker. That's right, you see that nice fresh glass? Where do these parts come from? I don't know, probably some sort of slave factory in China. Ah yes, look at those beautiful curves. What does that do, hickey do? I have no idea. Nobody knows. No, nope, not, not even the creators know what this does. You could probably like, scrub your kitchen with this, maybe. I really don't know. Oh yeah, you know how many underpaid animators we had to get for this? It's crazy. Watch, you better be ready for this. You ready for this? Here it comes. Boom! That's right, it's on someone's fucking face, pussy. I bet you didn't fucking expect that, bitch. I hope you guys liked that little voice over there. You know, I, I really didn't enjoy making that because I had to watch the trailer more than once. Now, I just want to point out the obvious here, and it's the fact that the um, little area with your eyes that you can see through looks really stupid and just kind of looks like scuba goggles. It's like if you're gonna about to uh, you're about to go diving in the ocean. Except in this case, the only ocean is an ocean of tears after you spent all of this money on this one product. Now, the reason this is the case is because you're supposed to look through it as a trailer is going to explain later but i just think it looks really dumb it's kind of reminiscent of the the mew talk in my opinion i mean this stuff is in the same vein as the oculus rift and the, the quest 3 or whatever it's called where you know it's this big bulking thing on your face for you to look through well not look through but rather look at a device but this is advertised as looking through oh wow how revolutionary this is dumb and you guys are gonna love the price tag oh oh yes oh you better believe the most affordable product for vr by a long shot ah yes 3499 us what a very affordable price for all the apple fans here at their consumer showing not for companies no but for actual people you're paying that much money for a glorified vr set on your fucking face that is ridiculous let's go through some of the features here because you're not limited by a display Play. Apps live in your space. Your photos can be life size or any size. So your living room becomes a gallery. Or you could just like pull it up on your phone, you know, like, like a normal fucking person. Why the hell do you need your entire goddamn room to show you some pictures? Like this, I don't know why, but I'm getting weird vibes from this fucking trailer. It feels like a father mourning the loss of their children where they have to take like an entire room and dedicate it to their child just to stare at dead pictures while they smile and reminisce about times that once were. And panoramas wrap around you as if you're right where you took them. Now, admittedly, that is a pretty cool feature. But also, why? Like, again, just look at a fucking photo. I don't know, like, I I don't know if it's just me, but the purpose of a photo isn't to be like, hey, look at this extremely realistic thing. For me, a photo is more of a memory. Like, ah, I was there once, yes. I remember that time in my life. It was terrible, but I remember it. Now that may be a little old fashioned, and I do understand people are gonna want more like real looking photos, but let me just explain this scenario to you here. Why the fuck would you haul this giant face filter goggle lens looking piece of shit all the way to the arctic to take pictures of icebergs it, it riddled me that batman why the fuck would you do that when you can just here i'm gonna show you something really cool you guys are gonna love this this is a camera you can take pictures with it wow like nothing this device does is revolutionary and nothing it does is worth the price tag of three thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars usd it's it it's ridiculous apple vision pro is apple's first ever 3d camera now you can capture photos and videos with remarkable depth and relive a memory as if you're right back in the exact moment Uh, okay, 
I don't know if I'm just a sick fuck that likes the quick fuck, but listen to me on this one. Am I the only one that's getting vibes from this trailer of like a single father that lost their kids and they're trying to re relive the memory through their only remaining possession, which is the fucking Apple Vision Pro? Like, I, I can just imagine him sulking on the couch with, with like a, a glass of whiskey, drinking it, sipping it, and going like, oh, my wife left me because I kept spending the, the house's budget on the Apple Vision Pro. This is the only thing I have in my life anymore. <laughs> why? Why is life so hard? Oh, I've made perfectly fine financial decisions, but wait, she left me and the kids for some reason. <laughs> or maybe I'm just fucking stupid. I don't know. Probably. You can create the perfect workspace, no matter where you are. The web comes to life at fantastic scale. Text is crisp and easy to read. Browsing the internet feels new, and Safari expands so you can see all your open tabs. Again, maybe it's an old mindset with me saying this, but you could just use a computer with two monitors, you know, have a two monitor set up like a normal human being, and you know, not have to spend as much money at all, really. You know, like a normal fucking human. Yeah, I. What did you think? FaceTime looks and sounds amazing in Apple Vision Pro. You see people life-size, and with spatial audio, you hear them as if they're right in front of you. Yeah, and how the fuck are they gonna see you with this giant fucking goggle on your goddamn face? There's no camera towards your face. I don't know, I, 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 maybe I'm just dumb and dense and I don't get it, but still, like, I don't understand. And also, can I just say, it really looks uncomfortable. And there's one thing that I want to close out this video, because I'm not gonna go through the whole trail, I don't care enough. But there's one thing that I really want to cover. And that's the battery life. Two hours! It's two hours for the battery life. <laughs> sucks ass, dude. This product sucks ass. Apple is shit. Don't buy this product. It's a piece of garbage. Anyways. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Here's some videos that you like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And make sure to leave a comment in my comment contest in the community tab on my channel. Take care.